This is Brad Wilson reporting from Philadelphia Eagles training camp at Lehigh University on a muggy and humid day here. It's military day here today as uh, special uh, camouflage hats were handed out uh, to Eagles staff and to some of the visitors. Coach uh, Andy Reid revealed that Trent Cole has been uh, dinged up and he'll be out for an undetermined period of time. Jason Babin will be out for two to three weeks. That's both the starters. And potentially add to the excitement, uh, defensive tackle Colin Jenkins was uh, disappeared from practice in a cart, although he was sitting upright and he didn't particularly look injured during when he was taken off. The afternoon practice has had some uh, some nice hitting sessions, particularly in some short passing situations. Uh, wide receivers Jason Avant and Marvin McNutt looked very impressive uh, running some hot routes from uh, quarterbacks uh, Michael Vick and uh, Mike Kafka. Defensive tackle Antonio Dixon was aggressive and fast off the ball on those drills and was able to cause some problems for the quarterbacks there. Other interesting thing, of course, is that uh, 2010 first-round draft pick Bren, uh, Brandon Graham from Michigan now may have a chance to you know really step in and prove that uh, the Eagles didn't make a mistake prove that he can play at the NFL level with the injuries to Cole and Babin, and he's certainly excited about that prospect. Tomorrow's practice will, uh, will also be a two-a-day practice at 8.15 and at 2.35 in the afternoon, as uh, tomorrow also marks the one week until the first preseason game at home against Pittsburgh on the 9th. So after another productive day, but uh, potentially uh, problem-causing day with injuries at Eagles training camp, this is Brad Wilson reporting.